like life calling and uh, what's my purpose here was always in, in very interesting topic to me and I just wanted a bit more confirmation that I'm on the right path and a bit more information like what else should I pay attention to? And that's just interesting, you know? <laughs> that's just interesting. <laughs> what What do you think would, would distinguish palm reading from hand analysis from what I'm doing? You know, I never I never tried palm reading, but as I see it, it's, uh, it's kind of, we try to predict your future and, you know, like with astrology, yeah, there is some information that they can tell you, but they always add that you know, that's not, you know, that's not a fact. You can change it. Everything depends on uh, on your choices. Before this handwritten, you actually know knew nothing about me, like pictures of my hands and uh, and my name. <laughs> and you were telling like exactly, you know, this exact particular stuff about my life, how I felt, and you, you know, did no mistake. <laughs> 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 because with astrologists, palm readers I don't know it's uh, it's 50 50 sometimes they get to the point sometimes not and and what did the di having a diagram help you with and uh the hand analysis and and that two hours what opened up for you if you can recall that back far after this process first it gave me confidence for sure that it's not just my life that you know sucks <laughs> it was kind of written there and uh it's a huge sense of relief and uh, also that you saw some, you know, basis for future improvement of all of that. <laughs> and uh, also, I kind of got connected to myself because some things that you told me that you saw in my hands, I kind of felt them about, you know, my life path and what's uh, just the most important thing I need to pay attention to and dive into and uh, the power I need to tap into. It. And uh, yeah, it was quite uh, liberating and like it, it was a huge relief just to see that I wasn't, you know, I was right when I felt that. Yeah, and that you weren't stuck forever in a phase, that there actually is a yeah. next step and this is a necessary phase for you to go into and you can see exactly how you move to the next phase and exactly what is uh, what what is needed on your side to do that, yeah. right? Yeah, and, uh, and the next step, the shift is, that's the most incredible thing, I guess, that happened to me. And... Uh, yeah, also I was surprised that, you know, like with a psychotherapist, it takes years for you to tell him or her your story and, you, you know, for the therapist to know what to ask, when to ask and whatever. And when we did shift <laughs> with you, you like knew exactly where and about what to ask and you, you know, you picked all of the most important pieces of my life uh, yeah that was incredible and that didn't took years didn't take years you know <laughs> it took three hours right and yeah. in three hours we were able to assemble the exact portrait of your difficulty and to see it in one picture and see it as a network is important because the uh, normally we go to a uh, a, a a session with a therapist or we take an online course and we're targeting one particular issue. But all that does is pull one weed out of the garden. You're yeah. not and you're not getting the whole root system and you have to see the entire root system. All you need is one root in there and it's still going. So by, by seeing all of the root system and then dealing with it holistically with compassion, you can see that underneath the root system is the root of all the root system. And by going yeah. deeper into that, we got to see a common statement that was the root of it all. And by then going into that whole point and seeing how it that just replicates itself through the whole thing, we were able to turn the whole story upside down and create a massive breakthrough. I tried everything and um, yeah, I just trusted you. And what it did to me, I don't know, it changed my life completely. I just, uh, you managed to make me have this conversation, the hardest conversation in my life, I guess, with my mother and we had terrible relationship, like completely terrible for all my life. And we're good now. Like we managed to forgive each other. And, you know, I never had, 
I never had such conversations with her. I never had uh, such close connection to her. And if you, t you know, if someone told me that it would be possible one day, I would say it's bullshit. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, it, it's just happening. Just to, you know, it took some stones from my from my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, like physically in your body, you feel like it's easier to breathe, you know, less muscle tensions and uh, like literally you, you feel it 